Here's the problem I have with some of you pastors. The problem is that you guys rather not preach the truth according to Bible because you're concerned about people leaving your church and or them not paying their tithes anymore. But what good is it if I'm paying my tithes to your church and you're not even telling me those things that pertain, pertain to my soul salvation, to my soul being saved? You don't even want to tell me that fornication is a sin and that I need to come out of fornication. You don't want to address the fact that I'm struggling with homosexuality and that God delivers and that I need to be at the altar because I can't continue in these sins. You don't want to tell me I need to stop smoking my weed, my marijuana, because you don't want to offend the young people because they'll stop paying their tithes. You don't want to tell me that I don't need to be voting for the Democratic Party, despite whether female or black. Um, you don't want to tell me I don't need to vote for them because their agenda is antichrist because you say there's a separation of church and state. And I beg to differ because God calls you as a man or a woman of God to spare, to cry out loud and spare not. So there's no such thing as separation of church and state because as a man, the woman of God, you know things happen in the spiritual first. You're supposed to be warning the flock. This is what you don't do as a true Christian. This agenda, don't, never mind that she's a woman or a woman of color. Her agenda is Jezebelic. It's Antichrist. Her agenda is founded around abortion, which God calls murder. Matter of fact, one of the seven sins he hates, hands that shed innocent blood. They were sacrificing their babies to bow back in the Old Testament, passing them through the fire. And God said, this neither came into my heart, neither did I command it. But now they are having abortions and they want to say it's a right. But God said, for you Christians that say you support her because you support women's right, God says to present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. You shouldn't be in fornication and having slip ups anyway to worry about having an abortion in the first place when he calls it murder. Pastors, this is my problem with you. You want us to pay our tithes, but you don't preach the truth no more. And I'm not just talking to the Baptists and not denomination i'm talking to the pentecostal pastors i'm talking to the kojic pastors the apostolic pastors and bishops that don't preach the truth no more because you're so worried about ties and now you want to be a mega church and now you want to have two three and four services when you need to just have one service and preach the truth in that service and preach holiness or hell in that service and preach that jesus delivers to the youth if you're struggling with your identity your sexual identity he made them male or female he didn't make mistakes he's not testing you Satan is confusing you and he's using your molestation your rape and who Whoever touched you to confuse you, but God came to set the captive free, to deliver you, to rebirth you. If you were born that way, we were born to sin. So what? We born again. We must be born again. But you pastors out there just want our money. But you're not telling me what I need to hear for my soul to be saved. Because so many of your members are not like me. My mama taught me to know the word for myself. They don't know the word. They're going by what you say. And you're not telling them to come out of fornication. You're not telling them to stop having abortions. You're not telling them that there's no safe sex. Because you may, uh, why you didn't get pregnant physically, you on your way to hell. Because fornication is a sin. You're not telling them to stop drinking, smoking, cussing, and fighting. Because you're worried about them paying their tithes. But again, my question to you, bitch and pastors is what good is it if I'm paying my tithes at your church and you're not really preaching the truth you're not preaching those things that can help me uh to come out of sin to get right with God you're not telling me I need the Holy Ghost you're not telling me to turn from fornication you're not telling me you don't need to be voting for the Democratic Party and it's not about being a dictator in the church it's about this is not a go of God the Democratic agenda is not of God Kamala Harris is a Jezebel I don't care what she look like I don't care if she got curves from here to there here down here red bone brown skin dark skin whatever I don't care how bad she is is how educated she is her agenda is against god but you bishops and pastors don't want to say that you want to say a separation of church you want to encourage it because it's a black president or a biracial president but god calls it sin adultery spiritual adultery the jezebelic spirit spirit sodom and gomorrah and pastors and bishops it's your job to warn us so please don't just peckle us for our money and our ties if you're going to peckle me for my ties at least tell at least tell me the truth at least tell me those things i need to do to get to heaven i need the holy spirit i need deliverance i need jesus at least tell me to turn from my wicked ways because if i don't i'm going I'm, I'm going to go to hell at least tell me the truth don't peddle me for money and don't even tell me the truth what good is it we paying our ties and y'all don't even preach the truth no more because you're scared people gonna leave your church and stop paying their ties you're scared you're not gonna be a mega church and that celebrities will stop coming you're scared because you only got 
got a few members, so you don't want to be too hard. But God said it's either his way or no way. There's a way that seems right into a man with this Kamala Harris and Democratic to the black people and all this. It ain't about all that, but the end thereof is death. Why? Because the agenda is Antichrist. And you pastors and bishops, the blood is going to be on your hands because it's your job to let them know that this agenda is demonic because God said to be friends with the world is enmity against Christ. And you pastors, bishops, prophets, and evangelists in the church, God is holding you accountable because you are supposed to be crying out loud and sparing not separation of church and state my foot when they start doing wrong in the white house it's going to trickle down because it happens in the spiritual first if america turns their back on god they're already trying to turn boys into girls and girls can go into class and say i want to be jimmy and their parents can't have nothing to do with it the, the teacher's going to take them to the hospital and switch their sexual parts at six and seven and eight years old and they're going to say the parents can't control it they can't do nothing about it because your child has the right to be the opposite sex and you pastors and bishops aren't saying nothing about it but you want to say vote for Kamala because she's black or because she's biracial or because you believe in woman rights or because they're democratic they're for the people and the Trump is a racist when their whole agenda is against Christ to be friends with the world is enmity against God why am I paying my tithes at your church if you're not even preaching the truth if you're not even telling me to turn from fornication homosexuality pride melanated pride deceivement stuck on the plantation enslaved to the democratic party when all they want to do is kill our babies when our, her whole agenda is founded on abortion she couldn't do her do, do her one job right but y'all want to say separation the church and state pastors he gonna hold you accountable if I'm going to pay my tithes, let me pay my tithes somewhere where they're going to say, you need to be delivered. You need to stop fornicating, stop smoking, stop drinking, stop cussing. Uh, know ye not that the sexually moral, the effeminate lovers of themselves, the prideful witches, warlocks, idolaters, adulterers will not inherit the kingdom of God. But you pastors ain't saying that because you can't scare we not paying our tithes. We'll leave and stop. But what good is it me paying my tithes if you're not telling me the stuff that needs to save my soul? The stuff that Jesus is saying in his word. Because your saints don't know the word. Y'all better stop being scared. And y'all better wake up and choose ye this day. And you bishops. And you you men and women of God. I pray to God. I pray to God. Y'all not voting for Kamala Harris. And call yourself a man and a woman of God. Because to be friends with the world. Is to be in me, enmity to Christ. And he's going to hold you accountable. And that blood's going to be on your hands. You need to repent. And you need to get right and you need to tell your flock the truth because they don't know. A lot of us are stuck on the plantation and we think that because we're black, the Democratic Party is here for us, for the for the for the for the the poor and the middle class, and they're not. They're here to kill the babies. They're pushing drugs on us. Neither one of these parties are really here for us, but at least the Republican Party stands on biblical principles. They are not saved either. They're not Holy Ghost filled and living holy either. They're sinners too. They don't have Jesus like that, but they have biblical principles that America was founded on. We know America was founded on slavery, but in general, they were founded on Christianity and Christianity does not support slavery. It support. It was talking about indentured servants in Israel where they would work for their masses and they would feed them and all that slavery and American slavery. And what the Bible is talking about are two different things. But you guys have to wake up, come off the plantation. The Democratic Party don't care about you. At the end of the day, the only one that really cares about us is Jesus. But in order to say, oh, well, I don't want to vote because we're not supposed to be involved. It's not true. Because when we don't, who whether we vote or not, it's affecting us because people are still voting. And it's going to affect your kids and their schools and who's coming into the schools and indoctrinating them like drag queens, telling them about two men spooning when they're not even six, seven years old, ain't even reached prop uh puberty yet it affects us it affects our gas prices it affects our jobs it affects whether if you own a, a christian wedding and the gay couple say are you gonna marry us if not we're gonna shut your your company down it affects us that's why we need to vote and that's why we need to vote for trump because he has conservative and christian beliefs he don't have to be perfect. I don't vote for everything you said. And I'd rather you say, well, I'm not voting for nobody than to say you're going to vote for the Democratic Party because that's a whole sin against God. Matter of fact, if you say you're Christian and you vote for Kamala Harris, you're not Christian. You're satanic because that's a whole satanic agenda. And as a Christian, you shouldn't be supporting homosexuality, trans, anything when it's male or female or abortion. Her whole campaign is built on abortion. The number one thing she say is women's rights. But God said, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to him. But y'all say y'all Christian. And you bishops don't want to tell the truth because you worried about somebody not paying tithes. And I wonder who y'all voting for because as a man of God, how you going to preach for me out this book and you voting for a witch that's going around promoting baby killing. But you say you got the Holy Ghost for 45 and 60 years, but you voting for a witch. That's supposed to be for the people when all they're doing is bringing drugs and beer and liquor and drugs to the community and killing our babies. But this is the party y'all want to vote for. 
because we stuck on the plantation. We stuck on stupid in the black church. Let me talk to the black church. Let me talk to the Latino church. The ones that are not truly awoke in Christ because they know that the Christian thing to do is to still vote Republican. They know that both sides is corrupt, that the only one is right is Jesus. But at least over here, they got Christian uh, principles that is affecting our laws. So it matters that we vote because it's affecting our lives. It's affecting the lives of our kids. So to be ignorant and say, I'm just not going to vote is ignorant because it's affecting us. And if we don't vote right, the right people in, the wrath of God will come on America sooner. It's coming anyway. The Bibles will fit, but it'll come sooner. So it's important to vote for those things that are at least the closest to what's right. And that would be the Republican Party being founded on godly principles. Just based off of that alone, the Republican is the way to go as a Christian. Why am I paying my tithes to you and you ain't even preaching the truth? Y'all better learn the word for yourself because who is y'all pastors and y'all bishops voting for? But they say they're Christian. You can't be Christian and be Democratic. Kamala Harris is supporting murder. The, be the, 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 the death of innocence. One of the things God hates Hands that shed innocent blood. Six things do it the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination. Hands that shed innocent blood. Sacrificing their children in the fire. That's what the children of Israel did in the Old Testament. Now we have it taking pills and aborting our babies. And you thinking it's just a clump of cells. That's a whole spirit of soul. That's a whole spirit of soul that you're going to have to take account of. And if you don't repent, y'all can't be Christian and think it's okay to have abortion. If you don't repent, that's murder. You're going to hell. You better repent. If you repent it, that's different. My mama had four abortions, but she gave her life back to Christ. God forgave her. And she's in heaven with all four of them kids now. Four or five, she told me. And guess what? They're not a lump of cells. You just flush down the toilet. You just let them person go up in them tubes and just cut them up. Them old school abortions. They in heaven. Those are whole spirits and souls that God that are standing before God day and night. And he remembers what you did to them. So don't think you're getting away with nothing. If you don't repent, it's going to be all hell to pay. So repent. And y'all bishops and pastors, I'm paying my tithes for what? You don't preach the truth. Why? You don't care about my soul. You just care about my money. God going to hold you responsible.